We start with big news for the Rocket City as Huntsville is officially taking the lead role in America's return to the moon. Good evening, I'm Connor Board. And I'm Mike Black. Our Kelly Kennedy was at Marshall Space Flight Center today where NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine made the big announcement. Kelly, what is Marshall's new role in bringing Americans back to the moon? Connor, Mike, we learned today that Marshall Space Flight Center will be the project manager in the development of the lander for the Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. This means that we will lead the effort in getting Americans back to the moon by 2024. The Artemis will help propel the first woman to the moon. The program will be managed by an Alabama native, Lisa Watson Morgan, who also happens to be a woman. She's the former deputy engineering director of Marshall Space Flight Center. It just seemed like a, a natural fit. I have led small program or small projects and and then worked very large programs. Propulsion is a big part of the lander system. That's why Bridenstine says Huntsville was perfect for the job. This is not a decision that was made lightly. A lot of hard work has been done here in Huntsville over really well over 10 years now regarding landing systems. Marshall Space Flight Center will lead the way, but many parts of the landing system will likely be built at other NASA centers as well. Astronauts will explore a different part of the moon on this mission. I'll tell you more about that tonight at 9. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.